Hello everyone. Today I will share with you about kinematic linear motion graph. At the end of this video, students should be able to discuss the physical meaning of displacement against time graph, velocity against time graph, and acceleration against time graph. When we discuss about graph, we should consider these three things. First, the pattern of the graph. Second, the gradient of the graph. And third, the area under the graph. Let's see the pattern of the graph. All of these three graphs show an increasing pattern. And these three graphs show a decreasing pattern. Whereas, these two graphs show a constant pattern. The second thing we need to consider is about the gradient of the graph. For example, the gradient of displacement against time graph is equal to the velocity of an object in motion. When the gradient is constant, therefore, the velocity is constant. For this graph, the gradient increases with time. Therefore, the velocity is increased. For this graph, the gradient at point P is positive. Therefore, the velocity is positive and the object moves in positive direction. At point Q, the gradient of the graph is zero. So, the velocity is zero. We can say the object is at rest. At point R, the gradient is negative value. So the velocity is negative. Since the velocity is a vector quantity, the negative value indicates the direction of the object has changed. For this velocity versus time graph, the gradient of the graph represents the acceleration of an object in motion. This graph shows the velocity of the object is constant. So the gradient of the graph is zero. Hence the acceleration is zero. For this graph, the velocity increases uniformly. Therefore, the graph is constant and the acceleration is constant. On this graph, the gradient at point A is positive. That means the acceleration is bigger than zero. So, we can say the object is speeding up. At point B, the acceleration is zero because the gradient of the graph is zero. At point C, the gradient is negative and acceleration is less than zero we can say the object is slowing down. Last but not least, we look at the area under the graph. For the velocity again time graph, the area under the graph represents the displacement of the object in motion. For a non-linear graph, the shaded area under the graph represents the displacement of the object in motion. Hope you enjoy of this video. 
and thank you. See you in next video.